y'all. This is straight up a Rapunzel filter. Everyone knows my favorite movie is Tangled. Oh no, Alexia deleted her whole story. Yep, guess what? You can find all of my story posts on YouTube by looking up my name. Excuse the mess in my room, but I'm like having so much fun playing this stupid Dunkin' Donuts game. Some of y'all were asking about the dog bite. So this is the big one, and then I have it on this side too. Oh, that looks bad. Some of y'all are also wondering why I'm not talking to you anymore. And that's because I wasn't kidding when I said I don't like people talking inappropriately to me. One thing some of y'all have done that I tell everybody I don't like, and if I tell you I don't like it and you do it again, I'm going to stop talking to you, is calling me hot or sexy. I am cute, beautiful, gorgeous, spectacular, stunning, flawless, perfect, anything except hot or sexy. One thing all y'all should know about me is that I'm not one of those girls who says something and means the opposite. Like, when I tell you something, I mean it. I don't play games. Like... The other thing y'all have been doing that I don't like is talking about my body or saying you want to see me in person or you want to hug me or like weird crap like that. And to those of you watching this saying, oh, don't you have a fiance? I, that was a very bad prank gone wrong. Gone wrong and gone on too long. The fact that y'all thought I was stupid enough to get engaged to a guy that I knew for one day is insulting, but it was funny as hell watching y'all believe it. No, I have not dated anybody since I broke up with my ex, and I don't plan on it. I love being alone. I love being alone. I'm not going to get into all the reasons why I prefer to be single right now, but I think it is very important, and I will do a series on that later, and I need to stop talking with my hands. So anyways, the whole point of this was just to tell these guys why I'm not talking to you. And don't try to talk to me after this and be like, oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to, blah, 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 blah. I don't care. I don't need you and I don't want you. I don't have time to be talking to guys that are thinking weird things like that. And that's, I'm not even saying all that it was because it's more inappropriate than that and I don't feel like talking about it. If you're a girl, I love you. If you're my family, I love you. And other than that, if your name is not Saxon, Timmy, or Noah, no. And of course, I have some other acquaintances that I'm still talking to y'all, and you know, if I'm replying to you, I'm not mad at you. You you will know if I'm mad. When it comes to guys, if you make me mad or annoyed or like I just have no reason to talk to you, you will first be unfollowed, defriended, deleted. Then if you keep bugging me and you know I'm mad at you and you're trying to make me not mad at you, it's too late. Like I just don't have time. I forgive you. Goodbye. Um, but you're gonna get blocked. Then you're gonna have to go and make a spam account so you can still follow me. It's just this big old long process. It's unnecessary. Just leave me alone. Watch me. Don't talk to me. Leave it at that. I sincerely, from the bottom of my heart and soul, apologize to all of the innocent people who had to watch this. But I just had to make this public PSA because there's just too many people bugging me. Call me River. I will delete this story after all of the people in question have seen it. And like I said, if I'm still replying to you, I'm not talking about you. So don't ask me, are you mad at me? Because no, if I'm talking to you, I'm not mad at you, obviously. I'm not as cute of a giraffe as Maxie was. If I could do live Instagram feeds with these filters, you would all hate me. I'd be on all day Long. I don't know if I already said this or not because I have a really bad memory, but another reason that I stop talking to a lot of people is if all they do is tell me I'm pretty all the time and we don't have a real conversation. Like, if you're one of those people that I say, hey, what's up? Oh. Okay, so like I was saying, if I'm like, hey, what's up? And you're like, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. I'm just going to be like, delete. There's like a ghost in here. I was going to give a shout out to this cheap hair extensions company because even though they feel like shit, they don't look that bad, but they're possessed, so now I understand why they're so cheap. Never get cheap hair extensions because I can't even get this crap out. It's literally in a knot. It's stuck in my head. So I bought these stupid things for 50 bucks, and, you know, they're supposed to last a week. 
I'm getting my new hair on Wednesday, but they don't even, they didn't even last a week. Alright, so this is, <laughs> this brand, this hair intensity from Sally's, don't ever buy it. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the beast that was on my head. This is nasty, I want to burn it. Ew, ew, ew. Alright, I'm about to, oh, wow, oh, you always seeing these faces that just aren't there. I'm sorry, I get distracted easily. So anyways, I'm about to remove these for the first time since I got bit. And hopefully it will gross all the guys that are trying to hit on me out. I need to stop skipping leg day. Ow. Ugh. Ew. I'm kidding, y'all. I don't go to the gym. Ugh. Ew, this is the hole. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna throw up. This is nasty. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Let's see the other side. Oh my gosh. Oh snap, it's midnight. New filters. Mm-hmm. Hopefully you can see good from this angle. Ow. Oh, this one's not that bad, but this hurts. Legs look weird from Ow. certain angles. My goodness, these are good band-aids, though. I'm sorry to everyone that I'm grossing out right now, but this is, oh my god, for me to remember. My grandpa's a veterinarian, and I've grown up around animals my whole life. Not once have I been bit by anything in my whole 22 years of existence.